The future for Minecraft Bedrock Edition is incredibly bright, and in fact, that future is here. I just want to say a huge thank you to Dark Block Gaming for giving me exclusive access to a brand new version of ReplayCraft. This is not like any replay mod you've ever seen before on Bedrock Edition. It requires no second to count, and it records everything you do in the game so that you can capture those cinematic shots that you're looking for. This is absolutely incredible, and let's take a look at how it works. In order to get started with the replay mod, you need to do a couple of things on your world. If you're creating a new one or if you're editing an existing one to add this mod, the process is the same. You need to go into your experiments and enable beta APIs. Then you also need to go into the resource packs or behavior packs once it's installed into your game and activate it to the world that you want to use it on. From there, you can create your world or go back into your existing world. I'm in a creative copy of my Bedrock Guide world and don't worry, this is not the actual world, so I'm not going to go into creative mode. For anyone that knows that series, it is a survival tutorial let's play, so go check it out if you're looking for something to watch. But you're gonna wanna grab a couple of sticks, and then you wanna throw them into an anvil, and rename one Replay, and the other Cinematic. I am mainly gonna go over the features of Replay in this video, but I will briefly cover Cinematic as well. But here's what you're gonna wanna do. Take the Replay stick and right click, or the Use button on whatever device you're playing on. From there, you've got four options. These bottom three are informational only, but I would suggest that you read them before you start using this. It can get a little confusing if you're not familiar, but once you see what happens here in this video, it's pretty easy to understand. In order to get going, you need to start the recording, and then from here, Minecraft will capture every single thing you do in game. So I'm gonna grab a couple of block types, and maybe we'll go over here and add some more rocks. I think that looks pretty good. And then maybe I'm not happy with this fence here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fence out and extend the rocks over this direction a little bit more as well. And I think that looks okay. Then maybe I want to add a few more blackstone buttons, and at that I think we can call it good. Then I'll reopen the replay interface and save the recording. But hey, Blue Jay, all of your stuff just disappeared. Where did everything go? Do not worry, this is completely normal and exactly what you should expect at this point. The replay craft add-on does not capture video, it captures game state. And so everything has been reset to the point from before I hit that start record button and now that I've opened up the replay menu again I have a whole bunch of new buttons. The one I'm going to start with is preview settings because we are in the preview state. You can choose default or ghost preview but I'm going to leave it at default and I'm going to leave it at speed one. Speed one is real time and anything faster than that will get you more of that time lapse effect. You can choose the Steve skin, an Alex skin, or a custom skin. The main limitation that I've seen with this so far is that you have to import your own custom skin to the resource pack folder of this mod in order to use your own skin. So if you're using marketplace or character creator skins, this is going to be a severe limitation for you right now. Hopefully this will change in the future. I've been talking with Dark Block Gaming about some suggestions that I've had, and this is definitely one of them. From here, you can also choose to view the player name or disable it, or you can choose a custom name, and I'm pretty happy with these settings, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Submit. Now I can hit the preview replay and watch the magic happen. There is my character over there. This is a complete out-of-body experience. I can watch myself pick up these blocks and get ready to go rebuild all of the rocks that I did over here. This is absolutely incredible. No more second accounts required for replay mod on Bedrock Edition. This is something that I have never seen before and is the future of content creation on Bedrock. But who wants to fly around manually recording their character? You could do that, I suppose. However, there are some other options that we'll wait for just a second because I do want to finish this replay to show you what happens when it's done because we are only in the preview mode. And there you go. The block state has been entirely reset again. But again, don't worry. Reopen the replay mod menu, open up the interface again, and if you're happy with everything that you've done and built, then you can start the camera setup, which we will do next, but I want to point out this bottom button right here. This is very important to note. This delete progress button will not just delete the replay, it will delete any progress that you've made in the game since you started the replay. 
So if you're not happy with the replay, but you're happy with your build, you're gonna delete your build. So I would suggest not doing that if you're doing this in survival, or if you're trying to record some creative massive monstrosity, be very careful using this delete progress button because it doesn't just delete the replay. So from here, I'm going to go on to the start camera setup. And now that that option is selected, you see the please do your cinematic camera setup message in the top left corner. I can reopen this menu and now I've got some more options. These two top options right here will allow you to set a start and end point for where your camera is going to pan. But it's also important to note that I've got a replay end position model and a replay start position model so that I can know exactly where the player is going to be at the start and at the finish. So if I want to come over here and I want to set the camera to have its start point right here, I'll just select this and back up and you can see a little indicator saying that's the start point. Then I can come over here and maybe I want to do a little bit of a wider shot. Then I can open up the menu here and add the end point. And now the camera will move from this point to that point over the course of the replay. I can go into my settings and then proceed further once I'm happy with those points. Now everything is reset back to default state again and I can open up the menu and I've got similar options to what I had before. I'm gonna go into the replay settings and I'm going to choose my custom skin and I'm gonna disable the player name and leave everything else at default and then click submit. You also notice now I've got replay settings and camera settings. If I go into camera settings, I can change the camera type to none or cinematic. I'm gonna leave it on cinematic for now and I'm gonna leave this camera ease option alone as well. However, there are a ton of different camera options and basically this adjusts the movement type. So for example, whether your camera moves from point A to point B in a static fashion, or it eases in and eases out as it gets there, that's what you would edit in the camera settings. Once you're happy with the settings, you can click submit. And from here, all that's left to do is start the replay. Now, this is not going to record a video for you. So if you're using this for content creation, you're gonna want to use something like OBS Studio that you would normally use to capture your footage and capture this replay as is. If something happens to go wrong and your recording software doesn't capture the video, that's okay. You can replay this as many times as you want. As long as you don't delete progress, all of this is going to stay saved. Once that camera shot ends, we're back to default state again, and all of our progress is undone. And you're like, Blue Jay, I thought you said this was going to save everything that I did. Well, yes, it is. Once you're happy with the replay and you've captured your footage in your recording software, you can now go into save build and reset. Once I do this, my build is there permanently and the camera options have been reset to default and I can start a completely different replay at that point. So maybe I want to go over here and start building some stuff here. I can capture a new replay and have that ready to go to record in my software and add to my video. Very quickly, I want to address the cinematic option. If you open up the cinematic tool, you will have a completely different set of options here. And the main things to focus on are this add position frame and you can fly up into the air or walk onto the ground wherever your cursor is facing that is where the camera is going to face when you add a position frame. So I can add one here and then I can move to a new position and add one here and then I can move to a new position and add one here. And once I'm happy with all of my positions, I can go ahead and start the camera and it will move to each of those waypoints exactly as I've set them and face the camera the direction that the player was facing when I started placing those waypoints. The limitation with this tool is that it does not capture game state or the player movement or anything like that. This is purely for capturing sweeping shots, maybe of finished builds or intros for videos, different things like that. It's still a great tool, very powerful, and I will probably use this all the time, but for the purpose of a true replay mod where you're capturing builds, you're gonna wanna stick with the replay tool. I don't know about you, but I will 100% be using this in my world because we've never had anything like this. It's a great tool and it's a great start, but with that said, there are some limitations. You can't match up camera shots with timestamps. You only have a start and end point in the replay. You can only use custom skins that are not from the marketplace or character creator. It is very much a bare bones replay mod. However, as I've mentioned, I've already got an open line of communication with the developer of this pack and hopefully we'll be able to provide some great feedback for the future. What tools and options would you like to see in an update? Let me know in the comments and maybe we'll see some really great 
things come from this add-on. Once again, I'll make sure to pin a comment, put it on my Discord, put it on my YouTube channel. When this pack is available for download, you're definitely gonna wanna check it out.